hi guys welcome back to my channel today i'll be walking you through on how i made this straight cut altar neck dress with chain accessories the inspiration was gotten from this video although lots of alterations were made the fabric i used was crepe and i increased the depth of the back also i did not put the chain around the neckline the video is actually a lengthy one so i made it in two parts so guys without further ado let's get started first we are going to be marking our top line and we're going to mark um, half an inch across so from this top line that is where all our measurements are going to be starting from from this line i'll be marking the shoulder measurements the shoulder is 15 15 divided by 2 is going to give me 7.5 and i'll just make a mark next from this shoulder point which i've marked i'm going to come down by one inch for our shoulder slope afterwards from this center front this edge of my paper i'm going to mark the neck width and the neck depth of three inches three inches width and three inches depth I'm going to use my curve to connect. Next, to make this slope, I would connect from this neck point to this shoulder point. Now that we've gotten this, we need to get the depth of our armhole. And to get that, we're going to divide our bust measurement by 6 and add 1.5 to it and add 1.5 to it the bust measurement i'm working with is 36 36 divided by 6 is going to give us 6 inches and 6 plus 1.5 will give us 7.5 so from this point i will come down 7.5 from this point here i'm going to come down by 7.5 and make a straight line Now from this point, I'm going to get my chest line by just squaring this across and to make sure that your line is straight, you just measure from this top line to this point, I have 8.5, I'm going to mark same from here, 8.5. So this is my chest line i'll just write ch here now we'll get our boss points the boss point is 10 inches and i will mark that and the waistline the waist length is 17 inches i'll do same and mark i'll just square these points out Bust line and my half length as my waistline. So my bust point and my waistline. I'm going to mark our bust band, which is also known as the nipple to nipple measurement, and I'm going to mark four inches. Then my dart legs that I'm using is one inch on both sides. So I'm going to connect the lines to my bust point. Now that I've gotten this, I would um, need to get the shape of my altar neck and to do that from this neckline i'm coming down by one inch why i'm coming down by one inch because i don't need it really tight on my neck so i'm going to connect it to this point but before i connect i need to mark the horizontal measurement so my bust is is 36 36 divided by 4 is going to give me 9 and on this line i will just mark 9 inches here and the waist is 28 28 divided by 4 is 7 have in mind that you need to add this one inch 
that's one inch here and one inch being two inches which you took out for your dart so seven plus two is going to give me nine and i'm just going to mark that out i'll use my curl driller to make the mark now that i have this i'm going to now come down from this my chest line by 2.5 inches so this 2.5 inches i'm coming down is not a standard measurement I'm doing this because my client wants it low so if you do not want it low you just have to come down by either 0.75 or 1 inch max but since my client wants it low i am going to just do that now so i'm connecting this point to this point You can use a straight ruler if you want but the beauty is going to be there if you use a curved ruler just a slight curve now that i've ruled this out i need to tighten this part to avoid it from gaping and to do that i'm going to measure what i have here and i'm having 11.75 half of it i'm just going to look for the midpoint which is here and from this point i'm going to go up by half an inch and come down by half an inch and i'm connecting all these points i'm connecting these three points to this first point so i've done this for my curve As you can see this is how it's looking and now we are going to check this because we want our lines to be straight as you can see if i close this point you're seeing that this line is higher than this point i'm just going to straighten this line So I've marked the point and from there I'm just coming down. This is to avoid shortage when you cut this out and join it. So let's try it again. So you can see now that it's okay. So now that I've gotten this, I'll just have to add my allowance round and we will be done with the front part so i'm adding 1.5 inch allowance So this is my allowance and we are done with our front pattern now i would have to go over to the back i'll mark my back same on this paper so i can easily align it so i'm just going to make a line like a demarcation from here this way and i'm just going to square these lines across I've gone ahead to spare out my lines for the back bodies. I will just have to impute my measurements. So my bust measurement is 36. 36 divided by 4 will give me 9, of which I have already marked here. My waist is 28. 28 divided by 4 is going to give me 7. Then my dart I'm using is 1 inch. The mark from this center front, 8 inches. Then I connect to my curve. I don't know what's wrong with this. Then from here I'm going to mark the my dark legs. 
and I'm connecting it to this point. Add my one and a half inch allowance all round. My marker is not doing justice to this. Then I will just come down by what I have here to make the curve so this is 12 inches from this top line i will just come down by 12 inches and i'm just going to connect this like this straight so this is how my front and back pattern looks like i will just go ahead to cut this out This is how our upper bodice looks like. I will just go ahead to draft the skirt pattern. So guys, this is what my skirt is looking like and the paper wasn't enough so I had to join to add to the length because the length is 62. So 62 minus 17 which was the half scale bodice is going to give me 45. So over here is my 45 then my hemming allowance which I left. So I just need to make sure that the upper bodies and the lower bodies be aligned so that we don't have any issue. So as you can see, they are aligning and this is the center back. It's also aligning my dart, my, my seam allowance, my dart and my zipper are aligning. So this part, I'm going to cut it off because of the bone effects to avoid any bulge at the back. So I'm cutting this off and I'm also going to cut that off. I will just go ahead and cut it on my fabric. So guys, I'm going to have to um, cut out this pattern on my fabric and on my lining. We'll just go ahead to iron my interfacing and sew the upper bodies and the lower bodies, upper bodies. And also, I attached interfacing and ironed it after sewing. See how neat it is? And I did same for the skirt part. So what I'm going to do now is just to go ahead and join this together i'll do same for the lining as well this is the lining this is the lower part and this is the upper part as you can see it it just looks same as the main fabric i have joined the upper bodies to the lower part so i'm just going to grab my lining now and i'm going to cover this one because we are doing an instant finishing where the front where the back just looks as neat as the front meaning that we are concealing or hiding all this um, same allowance you won't be seeing it after we are done sewing this dress so i'm just going to place my lining this way on top of it right side facing right side like this i'm not turning my neckline inside out because we're going to be putting the collar so i'm just going to sew to this point and sew to this point I won't put my zipper because we need to put our chain before we put the zipper so i'm just going to close this all up and come back <laughs> 